We learned this week that President Trump will attend the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland at the end of this month. Monica Crowley is with us. She is with the London Center for Policy Research. I almost fell off my chair when I saw that he was going to Davos. What do you think he's going to do there? What impact do you think the man's going to have? Well, first of all, he made that announcement to shock everybody. So you had the he proper did. response to that. <laughs> Look, he ran against the globalist agenda. He ran against the global elites having control of a one world government, a one world economy. And he, he ran on an America first agenda, which appalls these elites yes. that attend Davos. He is constantly disrupting the norm. He's constantly throwing the status quo into upheaval. He's going to Davos to get right up in their faces to show that he is unafraid of them. He is unafraid of their judgments on him. He doesn't care what they think. He is there to represent the United States of America, the American taxpayer, and the yes. American worker. And I give him all the credit <laughs> in the world for doing that. Do you think it will do any good in the sense that he will represent America as a unique society, America as a, com a country that's growing. I mean, is he going to project something that, that will have some effect on his yes, audience? Yes, yes. And when Donald Trump is in person, he is extremely charming. I know someone who knows the French president, Macron, yeah. very well. And Macron, behind the scenes, says when you're one on one with him or when you're in a group with him, it is so tough to dislike him. He is so charming, he won me over. Okay, now, whether uh, Macron would say that at the EU, probably right. not. <laughs> but it pays for the President of the United States to stand for American interests abroad, get up in their faces, show he is unafraid, stand for the American people, but also to personally work these world leaders and charm them so that they may be more likely uh, to support the United States and whatever comes next. Let me just point out that the Dow Industrials have hit yet another all-time <laughs> high. We're now at 25,451, 52. We're up 84 points. Is that because I'm joining you on set? It's just, <laughs> just sitting right there. Look what you did. Look what I'll you take did. all credit Stand for that. And cheer. <laughs> Quick, different story for a second. Daryl Issa, Republican California, he's retiring. Ed Royce, I think he's Republican California, yes. he is, yes. retiring. The Republican establishment seems to be leaving the field. Does that worry you in any way, shape, or form? Well, it, it does, because I, I'm always concerned about uh, the next election cycle. But I will say this, you know, Daryl Lyson, his case, he won by less than one percentage point yeah. last time around. So the district was changing. I think he saw the writing on the wall. You've got 31 Republicans not seeking re-election, 19 just retiring, 12 seeking higher office. Democrats are in a similar boat. You've got 15 so far not seeking re-election. So the, the map is it's going to be a difficult year, I think, for Republicans, but not as bad as people think because of the economy, because of the tax cut yeah. bill, because that's the one issue everybody sure. votes on. But when you look at that map after the elections in November, I'm pretty sure it's going to show solid Democrat coasts. I mean, without virtually no exceptions. Yeah. I, and, and everybody we're, else. We're almost Republican. there. Anyway, we we're, we're almost in that situation. And this is why illegal immigration is such an important component to this for the Democrats. Because what they seek is to flood the zone with, with illegal immigrants that they put on a path to citizenship so that they can get a permanent voting majority. That is what you already have in California. True, true. That's why the Daryl Isis and the Ed Royces of the world are, are, are you allowed at Davos, more vulnerable. Are you allowed? Are you going? Me, I am not going. Okay. No. Oh, no, just to I don't, check. Yeah. Thanks, no, but I'll take the invitation. <laughs>